Nope. <laughs> we have Yanya Gabra out first. Well, here she comes for her <laughs> two-minute inspection. There we and go. And that is Yanya. Seems that we both had the wrong idea there, but never mind. Well, Yanya was qualified first from semifinals. Indeed, she was. Next athlete coming. None other than the one and only Japanese Miho Nanaka. Coming up now, we have Futaba Ito from Japan. She is only 17 years old. Absolutely incredible performance in the semifinals. Really exceptional climber. Very interesting to watch. Great movement. Another athlete following her. Another Japanese climber. Only uh, 15 years old. Absolute savage, this young lady. Destroyed the boulders. Was one of only three to flash all four boulders in the qualifiers. Ai Mori out next. She is our youngest competitor at only 16 years old. Coming up next from the UK, she had a. We have Great Britain's own. She stamped her ticket already to the Tokyo 2020 2020 Olympics. We have Shauna Coxie. We do indeed have Shauna Coxie. Amazing semi-finals from her. She's already posted a photo on Instagram of what uh, she did on one of the boulders, the third boulder. Some very interesting beats. Her. Go check that one out after this is finished because definitely worth a laugh. <laughs> we have our last athlete out now, qualified in sixth. Current gold medalist, in fact. In uh, oh no, no she wasn't. <laughs> you know? Luska Rakovic is our next amazing strong Slovenian, 18 years old. She it's not Uska, that's a different climate. She qualified sixth going into finals, and she will be out first as the competitors. Indeed, she climbed so so well in the uh, in the semifinals. Totally deserves that place amongst a hard group of climbers and a very tough set of boulders, Sasha. Okay, now we have the men. Now on the men's side, we will be having the top qualified male from Austria, Florian Klingler. Absolutely incredible performance from him. Flo Klingler totally bossed that first round. Next athlete out, another amazing climber. He's won World Cups and he plays second in the semi-finals all the way from Slovenia, 24 years old, Gregor Vezonek. No, nope, it isn't that, it's John Won Chom. We're going in reverse order. We are doing reverse order, well, so the top going in the right order. They've thrown me. We're Coming good. out next <laughs> is another Japanese climber, one of the three to qualify for finals in the top six. 20 years old, Kai Harada. Well, Sasha's getting him right, so that makes one of us. Great to see Kai Harada out there, world champion from 2016. Next out, another Japanese climber. Took a gold medal this year in Vail. So psyched to see him back. Sasha, tell me, am I right? Am I right by saying Yoshiyuki Ogata? You are correct. <laughs> Anyone the, think we didn't have a script? I have a script the, um, in front of me. Second of the three Japanese climbers we have in finals tonight. Indeed, we do. Amazing climber, great style. Great movement. Next up, we have from Slovenia, 24 years old, Gregor Vesnik. He qualified second in semifinals and will be climbing, I believe, fifth. Gregor Vesnik took a gold medal first of, the, uh, of his career back in Munich in 2018. Liam, who do we have? Coming up next. Just by sheer process of elimination, Sasha, I'm going to go with Kokoro Fuji, but honestly, I can't promise anything. 
This is our third of three male Japanese climbers in the final six. So just to recap on those athletes, we have Yushka Rakovic, Shona Koxi, Ayamori, Futaba Ito, Muhona Nakara, and Yanya Ganbrat. And in the men's, we have Kokoro Fuji, Gregor Vezenik, Yoshi Yogata, Kai Harada, Chun Jung Won, and Florian Klingler. Kokoro Fuji! So here come the two first athletes, Yushka Rakovic and Kokoro Fuji. Kokoro Fuji is another Japanese athlete. Three, two, one, and here we go, the Adidas Rockstar final. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we begin. Kokoro Fuji getting straight in there with a brush. Rushka Rakovic. Pulls on to women's one. Lushka qualified seventh in the Bouldering World Cup overall in 2018. Really nice use of those stacked volumes there to create three dimensions on the wall. Places She's that left heel just below her hand there on that screw on. Oh, and that's the little pop of the heel there. You can notice that there's two screw-ons on the side of that volume. That's what she was putting her heel hook on, but she didn't manage to get her weight over to the left enough to grab that zone hold. The athletes all have four minutes. Kokoro Fuji came third at the World Cup overall in 2019. On the right hand side, the 18 years old from Slovenia. So that is the Euro 2 Championship versus Al Mansell and Kokoro Fuji. Being one of the top athletes. Run out the world with all the one in front of So, here goes Kokoro. Here we go. Come on, Kokoro. Kokoro. Kokoro chose to skip that zone hold and route to the top, which is actually a risky move, considering falls to zone are actually really important. But what we didn't see off camera was that he had the zone. So, Lushka Rakovic reaches up to take the zone. And she's opted out of the left heel hook this time. See if she can move her body weight over to the left in order to get this Gaston. Let's go from Britain, Aria Lincolns. So, Kokoro just taking a second. He knows that he can get up there nice and high. The strategy that each competitor has with their allotment of time is really important because they need to decide after they've fallen when they want to get back on the wall. Every fall counts, so there's something to be said about getting as many tries in as possible to have as much of a chance as possible, but also you want to save your energy. Just kind of hanging there, campus in between the moves. Up into that backhand on the underside of that blue volume. Oh, and he's back down on the mats. One minute to go. Lushka secures that zone hold and is trying to move her body weight over to the left. Gets the grim with the right hand. Oh, and she just pops out of that left. It looked like she, she rushed it a little bit. She didn't move over to the left in time to get her body over. Opposing Gaston's fierce. And this men's problem doesn't really pay too friendly to the feet. Oof, all the fingers by the looks of it. 25 seconds remaining for Kokoro Fuji. After Muno Come on, everybody, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Kokoro is using all the time that he has to have as much of a chance as possible to get to the top. Muskarakovic calls it a day with his zone. Kokoro Fuji also with his own notes up. Which means we go through to our next athlete. The ladies will be seeing Great Britain's Shauna Coxie. 
Yeah, she's already stamped her ticket to the Tokyo Olympics next year. Then on the men's side, we have Gregor Vezinek from Slovenia. Kokoro Fuji so strong in that move, but couldn't quite get enough pressure through the core and then up through the hand to stick that move. After these competitions, the competitors are going to be very sore from these falls. <laughs> Thankfully, we have the reload center with physios dedicated to helping our athletes out, and as rock stars, supplying six of the best physios in Germany from Dr. Volker Schoffel's clinic. There she is, Great Britain's Shauna Coxey. Shauna Coxey has a really a pattern of not necessarily qualifying first in semifinals, but often she knows how to turn it up in finals. She does indeed. Performs extremely well under pressure. And there is Gregor Vezanek. The member of the British Empire, So, stands up onto that volume to begin. Oh. Shana Coxie is trying to get up onto these volumes. See if she opts for Powerful shoulder move there to reach down. Nice toe hook. A toe hook's a smart decision because she can maximize her height while holding her tension. Now she needs to walk her feet over. Strong to that hole there. That first of the two Gastons. Oh, and just pops out. Very These strong two, first attempt. Two opposing Gastons with a really low foot. Has a lot of strain on the shoulder blades. Of course, Shauna had that nasty, nasty shoulder injury in 2016, I believe. And a nasty finger injury in the last couple of years. But seems to be in fighting form. Uh, she placed third in the World Championships in Bouldering this year. Absolutely amazing work from her to come back from those injuries. And here is Gregor Vezonik. Small crimp on that right hand, you can see. Squeezing with the thumb. Oof, doesn't quite hit it. He seems to be falling out from the wall and not really holding his tension as well as Kokoro Fuji did. Here we go, Shona Kotsi. She is ja eigentlich irgendwie vertraut mit solchen Situationen, aber ich habe es bei der Athletik vorstellen, bei allen gesehen, dieses Bild. Shana Cox de Liam is a really smart climber. She knows how to pace herself on her approach to the boulder problems, not waste attempts, and maximize the time that she has. Yeah, she's, she really knows what she's doing, and that's something, you know, when you get to climb with these climbers, you really see that, um, that intuition, that knowledge, confidence in self, confidence in ability. Rolls over herself to take that right hand. Shana Coxie makes use of those uh, screw-ons on that blue volume with her hands and her feet. A little flick of the foot there. I don't think it was intentional, but it kept her on. See if she can move her hips over to the left and hold that guest on, just misses it. Really have to stand up so hard into that move. Gregor Vezanik with a minute remaining says no thank you. Sean is considering it. Every top matters so much, but this woman's number one and men's number one has yet to see a top. <laughs> Here she goes. Shona says thank you. It's not to be for her today. Not on that boulder anyway. And just in case you aren't familiar with the Rockstars format at home, all 
six athletes get to climb the first two boulders. Then three athletes get to climb the third boulder, and only two athletes get to climb the fourth boulder. So all these athletes really need as many zones and as tops as they can get if they want to be in with a chance of getting into that third boulder, which then can propel them into the super final. So far leading the women is Shauna Coxie after that first boulder of the two competitors because she got the zone first. Yeah, flash to the zone. Great work from Shauna Coxie securing first place so far. Four more ladies to climb, four more men to climb. It is rare that the first two boulder problems really matter as much as they do. Yeah, yeah, I mean, in this, it's all or nothing in those first two. Next athlete out, Sasha, for Japan in the men's is Yoshiyuki Ogata. And on the women's side, we have Ai Mori, who's only 16 years old, the youngest competitor in the field from Japan. She's not only the youngest, but also one of the shortest as well. So she's quite an ingenious climber. I would say she climbs way ahead of her years. Such intuitive movement, really quite smart when it comes to just pulling things out of the bag. It's, yeah, she's a bit of a genius. Here is Yoshiyuki Ogata, took gold medal in Vail, his first earlier this year. Yoshi It seems a little bit like the zone isn't advantageous for the rest of the boulder problem on the men's side. Aimori was one of three competitors to flash the boulders going into from qualifiers to semifinals. Steps across on the stacked volume, reaches over into that right hand Gaston. Ooh. Looks like it might go. You know, it's unique to watch each competitor on these problems because each of them are different heights, different body builds, different strengths and weaknesses. And so they're also competing on the same boulder problems. So to see their approach is really interesting. Aimori is probably the shortest of the competitors. Yeah. Pretty sure she is indeed the shortest competitor. There goes Aimori into that right hand crimp. You can see that. those fingers. That she sticks it. Aimori matches that little crimper and seems to really have been the first woman to complete women's number one. Amazing work from Aimori. Topping that boulder in fine style. We said it earlier, she's one to watch. She just proved us right. While she may be the youngest competitor and the shortest, she is definitely dynamic and very powerful. So all eyes on her teammate and compatriot, Yoshiyuki Ogata, who opts for a feet first method. But first in a toe hook may actually be the solution to hold this compression. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Look at him go. Sticks that pinch with the right hand, matches him with the left. The crowd are going absolutely wild here. He throws up to the top edge. And there it is, two hands, ladies and gentlemen, our first top in the men's competition. From Japan, it's Yoshiyuki Ogata. Now we have this standard set. Both boulder problems have been completed. Tops are first to count. So Aimori and Yoshiyuki Ogata sitting in that first place. See that replay? So strong in the undercut. Aimori gets deep on the bicep, cranks that right hand to catch the left in control. Even with that little match there, such nice movement. Rolling over herself in that high right foot. Really very, very clever climbing. The goal of the root setter is, is to create a separation in the field and to have, ideally, each boulder problem be completed, but not be completed by too many competitors. So the fact that we've seen both a male ascent and a female ascent on the respective boulders is significant. 
So here we go, ready for our okay, next athlete. For the next in the men's competition. Who we got out next? Sasha and the ladies. In the men's coming out first is Kai Harada. And on the women's side, we have Butaba Ito. Awesome, here they come, there he is, Kai Harada. Ballroom World Champion last year in Innsbruck. Three, two, one, turn around. Futaba Ito. Now on the right hand side for the ladies. Futaba Ito doing a quick resequence of the boulder problem to know exactly where she's going. As you can see with the double tape on both of those volumes, it means she needs to have two hands and two feet on each of those respective boulder problems. Reaches down for that left-hand crimp. Whoa. Sasha, that was insane. Really strong on that right hand. So static. You can tell that body tension that she holds, but Couldn't just quite not, keep it going. not quite enough far left to hold that little Gaston. There is Kai Harada. Best result this season was silver medal, second place in Wuzhang. This is the third Japanese climber we have out for the men. See, he's eyeing this 360 sequence that we just saw. Wow, that caught attention there. Futaba Ito. Shaking out on the mats, taking a moment just to compose herself. Knows that she can get up there. Just has to execute. Maybe a little bit more flow through that bottom sequence so that she can isolate in the top, Sasha. What do you think? Yeah, Futaba Ito got to the zone hold her first try. However, it seems like she needed to move her body a little bit over, adjust her hips. And she slips getting the zone this time. Well ranked fourth this year. Best result was fifth in Chongqing. Futaba Ito also won the Asian Championships, which as you can see in the field, clearly not an easy feat to do in 2018. Back to Kai Harada. Campuses. That first move. You can see such body compression in those holds. Futaba Ito reaching down again. Will she have to use that toe hook this time? No, still stands up again. Static over that right shoulder. Ooh, little slip. Futaba Ito fights to regain her composure and crimps down on that little Gaston. Looking for that right foothold, but, oh, I mean, holding those absolutely filthy crimps and then just waving your foot around, that cannot be fun. Something that you can notice as the competitors approach their boulder problems is Figuring out when to rest and when to go and give their try. Back on the wall. Kai Harada rocks to go into that backhand again. Big press, switches it to two undercuts, and now he's on the slopers. Whoa, and he almost sticks it, takes a big crater into the mat. Futaba Ito is determined to get that next Gaston, but her right foot can't seem to stay on. 10 seconds remain for these athletes. Looks like they're going to call it a day. And that's just about time for these two competitors. So we have two more athletes joining us. Two of the favorites for the super final, according to our live studio guests. Veteran competitors, Zhang Wan Chan 
of Korea for the men. And in the ladies, Miho Nanaka. Last no. year's champion. Indeed she was. You can see a replay here of almost a head press <laughs> into that big volume. You actually get bonus points for using your head in this competition. That's not true. For all of the very literal amongst you. So, Mori, Coxie, Ito, Rakovic, Kurtz's mini ranking with Lossi Night Gaming in the next to one day. Sasha, let me give you a quick rundown of those results so far. Fourth place in the ladies, Lushka Rakovic. Then Futaba Ito and Shona Coxie tied for second. Ai Mori in definitive first place. The men's competition, Gregor Vezonik in fourth. Another tie for second in the men's, Kai Harada and Kokoro Fuji. And then it's Yoshiyuki Ogata again, a definitive first with the only top so far. And we're waiting for our next two athletes. As we've just said, Chun Jung Won of Korea and Miho Nanaka of Japan. Here they come. If these next competitors come out and do this boulder, then they'll be putting themselves in good standing to qualify for the third boulder after elimination. Miho is such a powerful yet graceful climber. I love watching her. She has really good style. So here they go, turning around. So Miho, deep over that right shoulder. Miho Nanaka finds that screw on and demonstrates another toe hook. Taking a moment to shake out, training for the lead comps. And she slips, just going to that zone. John Wong Chong compresses his backward <laughs> Gaston, but then slips off. So, Chun Jung Won. Miho Nanaka now. Reaches down with that left hand. Ox for the heel, oak pops. To remember, these athletes haven't seen the method that the others have used. They have no idea what they actually have to do. All they have is the discussions that they had right at the beginning in the observation round. The holds also on that stage are definitely getting chalky and greasy. So you can see that you'll want to brush them, definitely. Renmon Chong creates some opposition in his shoulder power between these two holds. While he's really tall, he's also a very flexible climber, which is impressive. See if he can use his height to his advantage as he has to make this next dynamic move. He's actually pressing his knee against the hold there and almost stuck it. It wasn't a proper knee bar, it was just like a knee hook. Mia Nanaka is trying to figure out how if she should use her heel hook or her toe hook. Shauna Coxie didn't use a heel nor a toe, she actually just toed down. Miho Nanaka climbing on women's number one, trying out a new foot sequence. 
She secures the zone. Here we go. Takes the right hand crimp. Up into the left hand. Oh, it just pops off there. Time for another go, but I'm not sure she's going to take it. Let's go. Nine Chang. Really pinching down on that left hand. Oh, outside calf bar. That's yeah, nice. He stuck it. Oh my gosh, I thought he was going <laughs> to. That's a new oh technique gosh. that I see. I mean, you can't question his out of the box thinking. The calf bar. The outside calf bar. Mihon Anaka and John Wonchon unsuccessful, so only Aimori and Yoshiyuki Ogata with tops. I wonder what that means for the super final. Is this a little uh, premonition that we're getting here, a sign of things to come? Who's going to be stood on the top later? Only well, one way to find out. John Wan Chan creating some opposition. First the toe hook didn't work and now he does a calf bar. Doesn't seem like he gets just high enough on that orange pinch. So we have one more rotation. From Austria, winner of the semi final, Florian Linga versus or in that heat together with the extraterrestrial Jan Jan Alfreds. So, first place qualifiers Sasha Florian Klingler and Janja Garnbrett. Janja Garnbrett had an three, undefeated two, bouldering one, World Cup rounds. season and three gold medals at the last World Championships in Japan. She is such an incredibly graceful climber, dynamic, powerful, the whole package. Absolutely, one of the best climbers in the world, male or female, no doubt about it. Total all-rounder, one of the most tenacious you'll find. You can really see her crimping down on that small crimp underplank. Pretend you're trying, Yanya. Give us a break. Reaches up for the top sloper. High left foot on the volumes. And flashes. Where is I think Yanya is starting to make us see who, which women are competing for second. Uh -huh. That's what, when the haters speak, that's what Yanya does. Unbelievable. Has she even broken a sweat? I don't think so. Florian Klingler over there on men's number one. Absolutely amazing. Florian Klingler, 25th in the World Cups. But did a really amazing performance here in Rockstar so far. Made it to finals. And let's see if he can figure this problem out. He's always had the potential as well, Sasha. You know, you can't... It, we've already kind of said it, but the field is so stacked. Just because he's not won, you know, don't, you don't write these climbers off. They just need things to go their way. I mean, look at Yerne Kruder, Gabriele Moroni. They were competing for 10, 13, 15 years before they got their first ever medals, both of which were golds. And Florian Klingler holds the compression as he campuses up onto this not positive black hole. Just need it to go your way that once. And the gold can be yours. Florian Klingler taking a moment. Florian Klingler is taping his fingertips. These holds are so new and abrasive. It's kind of like the competitors are rubbing their hands on sand sandpaper. <laughs> and then having to go back and repeat it. Oh, 
So here he goes again. A little loose in the shoulder there. There you see, tightens it up. Much stronger position. Feet first and controls the zone. The beta really seems to be create that 360 compression so you can move your toe hook in and maneuver your body around these really sloping holds. Oh, double toe and he almost caught it there. Just lost his core. Very, very close. Florian Klingler. Full house here in Stuttgart at the Porsche Arena. It's a Saturday night with live music and an incredible show of climbers. So, mittlerweile hat sich die Feinstoffe lassen in der Branche Arena wieder erhöht. Florian Klingler, you can see just how muscular he is. He's a really powerful climber. And also defeated on this boulder. It's defeated pretty exhausted. The and there, of course, Janja Garnbrett pathing this boulder. Looked like somebody would give her a few steps to get up there. It was that easy. No with, grimace, no effort in the face. With that, uh, with that flash, it puts Yanya in first, moving on from the first boulder problem. Absolutely does. Two women top, only one man top on the first boulder. Yanya with the only flash. There are those results. Six through first, Miho Nanaka, Lushka Rakovec, Futaba Ito, Shona Koxi, Aimori and Yanya Ganbre. As it stands, top three going in, Shona Koxi, Aimori and Yanya Ganbre. Everything can change on the second ball there. The men's, Gregor Vezanik, Florian Klingler, Kai Harada, Kokoro Fuji, Chun Jong Won, and Yoshiyuki Ogata, and you see that cut-off session. So we're now back to the athletes. Back to ball number two. Another way around into a second complete rotation. Sasha, who have we got out first? Coming out first, we'll have Lushka Rakovic from Slovenia as well as Kokoro Fuji from Japan. This second boulder problem will be the second deciding factor of who moves on to the third boulder. Only the top three of the six competitors will move to this next boulder. Lushka achieved the zone on the first boulder. Let's see if she can get a top. So Lushka Rakovic hops across, just misses there. This boulder problem requires a run and jump, a lot of agility. Climbing competitions are somewhat related to parkour these days, at least when you see bouldering. It's becoming very volume oriented, and you need to generate your momentum in the direction that you're going. Kokoro Fuji just struggling with that move there. Lushka Rakovec lines it up. Big swing with that left foot and the left arm behind it to get the momentum going. She needs to coordinate her left hand to get that zone hold in time as her hips and her feet push off that left black volume. Hmm, seems like Kokoro Fuji is holding that left glute there, or possibly hamstring. Lushka Rakovec bouncing down onto the mat. Kokoro Fuji gearing up for this compression. Oh, almost sticks that zone. Really interesting to watch how each different climber does it, but let's see how Lushka 
This time keeping go. that left hand oh, forward oh, instead of swinging it behind her. Looked like her right hand kind of slipped off that last hold. I really love that they managed to keep variety within the boulders as well. You know, I think last year and the year before, across the whole season, parkour became so prevalent. And now I feel like it's dialed back a little bit. There's a good mix between boulders like this and then some of the more powerful ones like we saw first off. Kukura Fuji really needs to land his foot on that hold. Lushka. Oof. Trying Very to close. land her left foot to move her body over. Kokoro Fuji oh, almost stuck that on the left foot, didn't quite land onto that stacked flat hole just on top of the cheats of all you. Forty-five seconds remain. Lushka's eyeing up where she needs to go. She knows where her foot needs to land. Oh, very composed, though. Sakura Fuji swings his left foot over. It looks like a press against that cheetah volume. Pushing into that undercut position now. Gains the momentum. Oh, it just slips off. And that top is going to cost him. He was so close. Ten seconds left for Lushka Rakovec and Kokoro Fuji. Not enough time. She's going anyway, just for the zone. Oh, and it's not going to count, but that was incredibly close there. Amazing work. Big smiles from both athletes. They know how close they were. Next up, Liam, we are going to have Great Britain's own Shauna Coxie, as well as Slovenia's Gregor Veshenik. Excellent. You see the joy in her face. That's one of the fun things about this competition. Often, the frustration isn't there, it's just happiness. They love the boulders. The climbers really love what the setters are doing, and so it smiles of frustration as opposed to anger. It's really exhausting to be in a bouldering round. You essentially have this set short period of time to put all of your maximal effort into each boulder problem. Out come the next competitors. Let's see what Shauna Coxie can do with this boulder. Cool as a cucumber, as per usual. Shauna Coxie strolls out onto the mat. Three, two, one, turn around. Gregor Vesenik. Very good at this dynamic style. Generally, the Slovenians are, I have to say. The Slovenian guys really have a way of bouncing through these boulders. Gregor Veshnik wastes no time to get on the wall. Shona Coxie doesn't seem to gather enough momentum as she's moving across those footholds to jump up and get that zone. Yes. Whoa. Really good height in that black volume there. It kind of caught me off guard how high you got. And then almost needed to drop down onto that crimp. I feel like that's a hard move. I've... Shana Coxie is attempting to go left hand on the blue. I feel like just logical that she would need to go the other way around. Yeah. But we'll see. She usually has method to the madness. That's an interesting strategy that Gregory has. Shauna Coxie is known for being able to unlock the sequences of boulders quickly. 
But she can't quite figure this one out yet. Seems like she needs to get her right hand on that blue volume in order to press and generate enough momentum to get that zone hold. And as we've said, all of these attempts and all of these zones and tops really count, given only three athletes will go through to their third boulder. If you want to keep up to date with the live results, you can do so at www.anidas-rockstars.com. Uh, and you can find results on there just by scrolling down and hitting that results tab. So Shana, in the house. Shana Coxie knows that she needs to get this board. zone. Really needs this top, actually. Ow. Gregor Vezenik, not quite the height this time on that boulder. Give your support to Gregor Vezenik. The bronze medalist of the 2018 World Champs in Innsbruck. The World Cup winner. Shauna Coxie's chosen to go right hand up to that volume. But she seems a little bit low on energy currently. It certainly looks like the better method, but she didn't look stronger that time. And this is your last minute. Oh, getting close. Opting for the left hand down and the right hand up. 42 seconds to go. What do you think, Sasha? Enough time? Shana Coxie is wasting no time to try and establish on that blue hold, but she doesn't seem to have enough compression in between those holds to stick it. Gregor Vezinek hops up again. Oh, and just misses. Go I mean, he's skipping the hold. Someone tell him. I mean, if he can get his foot down on that volume and time. I just feel like dropping down onto a volume and catching a hold that's in. You know, you've got a side pull and drop down. It's too much to ask. Sean Acosti waves and says thanks. Unlikely that it's going to be enough to see a three, Sasha. We'll have to see. Next up, we are going to have I Mori, who qualified first after qualifiers into semifinals, our youngest competitor. And we are also going to have Yoshiyuki Agata from Japan as well. Indeed. I am really excited to see how I Mori figures out women's number two being the shortest competitor. But also, she is really dynamic. She is super dynamic. There's only one way we'll find out how she did. Here I go again. Of course, we had a very dynamic boulder in the ladies' comp in the semifinals. And she managed to stick that. So maybe she can do this. Here is I Mori. Three, two. Okay, we wait for you. No problem. Come on, give a big round of applause to I Mori. Very shy. Three, two, one. Turn around. So here we go. Yoshiki Ogata on men's number two. I Mori on women's number two. Let's go to the push like on the inside. My push like is on any of the swords. Happy boys. Here we go. Yeah, Yoshiyuki Ogata. <laughs> Yoshiyuki Ogata just floating through the air there. It was like he got shot halfway. His body just stopped. Aimori with a big leg swing. Really good distance. Hit that right hand, but not quite enough momentum to kick the foot across. Let's see how they adjust on the next go. And the span of these footholds alone is pretty lengthy. Hi, Mori tries to palm against that volume. Here we go, Gamba Gamba Yoshiki. Gamba Gamba. Yes, yes, yes. Yoshiyuki Ogata looking absolutely in control now. Into that double undercut on the big volume. Very tenuous position. Oh, he sticks in one hand, and there's the second. Yoshiki Ogata. Incredible. Happy with that one? Two tops for Yoshiyuki Ogata. Thank you so much, Yoshi, for 
Yoshi Yugi will definitely be moving on from the next round. Absolutely will. Hey, Mori, now all eyes on her. Swings that left leg really far back. Oh. Ayamori is trying to palm against that first black volume in order to generate a little bit more height. Those boat holds alone are pretty stretched out for her. And then she has to run across the wall and catch that first zone. This problem certainly isn't suiting her small height. Not yet, but I'm not writing her off, Sasha. You never know. Ayamori is a little ninja. Let's see what she does. Wow, the foot was in a much better position that time. Her hips are a little bit far out from the wall. She can just tighten up those hips. That'll keep her center of gravity closer. She'll be able to engage that right shoulder. She's close. If she can generate a little bit more leg power off that left leg in order to jump off of it. Oh. Just over a minute remaining. Something that could work for Aimori is to match that blue volume in order enough to establish her left leg and jump off of it. Looks like she was attempting something of that sort. One thing I have to say though, for a 16 year old, she's very composed. Even after three minutes of climbing, over three minutes and falling, she doesn't seem to be getting flustered. Oh, and she's getting closer. Aymori is tenacious as well. She actually came third at the World Championships in Leeds, so endurance is not something that she lacks. Yeah, she can go and go and go and go. 23 seconds remaining. Aymori getting so close to establish herself and create some opposition against that left foot. 10 seconds. Oh, she really has that. She has the foot plan. She's going to get Aymori with the final buzzer. Hey, round of applause for Aymori. Absolutely sensational, just for effort. Very, very close. Didn't give up until the bitter end. One top so far, still puts her in second place. Here is Yoshiyuki Agata managing to press against that white cheetah volume. And it's actually in the no friction corner as well, Sasha. That's one of the areas where there isn't any friction, so the hold of the wall around that volume is completely frictionless. Something unique about these walls is the fact that they are the first dual tax wall in the world. In a climbing competition. In a climbing competition. And that means there is no friction to smear against on some of these wall surfaces. And it's not that easy to tell, actually, which is which. You know, you have to really go up and look at it and feel it. So the athletes will have done that, but you know, from a crowd perspective, it's not necessarily that obvious. Now on the women's side coming out is Futaba Ito from Japan. And on the men's side, we have Kai Harada. Futaba Ito, 17 years old. Kai Harada, 20 years old. Relative youngsters in this competition. Kai Harada lines up into the pro category. And there is Futaba Ito. Futaba Ito is a little bit taller than I am Mori. She's generating her momentum. Looked close straight away there. Something that these athletes are going to have to experience as they try these boulder problems is building that muscle memory in the short four minute time period that they have to actually figure out and unlock the sequences. On an agility, really timing climb like this, it takes a couple tries to actually learn the movement and know exactly what you're asking your body to do. 
Kai Harada lines up. Ooh, just scuffs that hold, fluffs the left hand, doesn't quite catch it. Futaba Ito now on her attempt. Oh yes, stinks the zone on women's number two. Just needs to keep it together now, Sasha. Futaba Ito mantling up. One hand on the top, two hands on the top, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Futaba Ito. That top is going to be really important as we go into our elimination round before the next boulder problem. It absolutely is. That's going to make a big difference. One top now in two zones. Oof. Kai Harada still just trying to make sense of that move. Looks like his hips aren't quite far enough across. The left leg isn't sticking that flat hold. All eyes on Kai. World champion in bouldering in Innsbruck 2016. Kai Harada is taking a moment to consider when he's going to get back on the wall. In order to maximize, he's got a little bit less than 90 seconds. Here he goes. Oof, doesn't quite stick it again. Skips that middle hold. Forty-five seconds. Saving himself for one last go, and he really needs to give it everything this time. Come on, Kai. Oh, he slows it down. Oh, my gosh. 30 seconds remaining, as calm as you like. Presses into the underside of that cheetah volume, walks up, and he sticks it! 20 seconds to go, Kai Harada looks at the crowd and says, are well, you not entertained? Absolutely incredible. Brilliant work from former world champion. 2018 was his year. 2019 could be the year at Rockstars. <laughs> Excellent work. And this is the first stop on the competition so far. Four attempts to reach the zone. Eight right now. There was Futaba Ito. Nice metal. On that very, very tricky little mantle at the end there, but made it look super easy. Great job. Topped and was very, very happy about it. And this, of course, was Kai breaking the boulder. Just killed that swing with such strong core. You can also see that these holds are dual textured, so that shiny portion of the orange holds are no texture whatsoever. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. There's the result, Sasha. Mihon Naka in sixth place, last year's winner. Mushka Rakovic in fifth place, Shona Koxi in fourth place, Aimori in third place, Yanya Gamra in second, and Futaba Ito in first. Gregor Vezinek in sixth place for Slovenia. Florian Klinger in fifth, first place qualifier. Chandra won last year, second in fourth. Kokoro Fuji in third. Kai Harada in second, and Yoshiyuki Ogata in first. Now, don't worry. Those results still yet to change because, of course, we do have Miho Nanaka and Yanya Gambra still to climb. And we do have Chun Jong Wan and Florian Klingler still to climb. So everything can change. And now coming out is Miho Nanaka and Jung Wan Chan. Miho is in need of a good result on this boulder in order to make it through the elimination round. She's 
she, if she flushes, she could get in. Neo led with her top a little bit quicker than she led with her feet. Zhang Wan Chan. A lot of speed. In fact, a top would see her in, I believe, for Miho Nanaka, if my maths is correct. Hops across. Spending the first few tries to try and figure out what exactly they need to do. Look how steep that wall is. Chun almost sticking that, but not quite high enough with the leg. Interesting. Less so, jump, more run. She was really so running. Close. Yeah. That was a smart maneuver of Miho to really establish herself on the wall and be able to coordinate her momentum. Miho lines up again and bets a little closer, that left hand in the right direction now, just needs to find a little bit more strength in the core to be forward, keep that weight forward. As the competitors go against a dynamic move like that, it's interesting to see how many swings they decide to take before actually committing to the move, because every single swing actually takes an amount of energy, and Miho is deciding to not actually swing, to just generate from her first push and then run towards that zone. Yeah, super interesting to watch. One of the best things about climbing, in my opinion, is seeing the different beta, the different methodology. Oh, so close. It's a move that she needs. John Wong Chong has established that zone hold and kicked his foot out left. Managing to find that stop beater on the flat hold. Now into that undercut on the volume. Big press into those. Underside, the grippy underside of the cheetah volume and just needs to stand up and catch. Standing up off that really negligible smear of volume isn't exactly easy. Oh, and he wasn't quite confident enough. One minute and ten seconds. Niho still getting close, but not quite close enough. And coming. Two stood in his first under that drop last year, finishing 23rd. The year after the world the tackle, twice. 50 seconds twice the on the clock. Oh, dangerous territory there for Miho Nanaka. Chun up on that boulder underneath the cheetah hold. Big press now into those undercuts and needs to get those feet in a better position this time. Stuff for Chum Jong One. Because Wang Chan now has that muscle memory down to dial it to the zone hold. See if he can stand on the top of this volume and press it out. He's really taking this one to the wire with five seconds remaining. Can he do it? Chum Jong One sticks yeah. it on the butter. What a savage! Chung Jung Wan proves why he was in the Super Final last year and with that top, puts himself into a very, very strong position. Absolutely amazing stuff from Chung Jung Wan. So, seven tries. Talk Brilliant about work. buzzer finish. <laughs> And as you saw in the results there, Miho Nanaka did hit the zone, and that was the go. Just off screen. She just wasn't quick enough to the top. What a shame at the buzzer. Real heartbreaker, but brilliant effort to get up there. And this was the buzzer beater from Chon. Two hands, stops the swing. Oh, and a slam dunk. So good to finish there. You can see how much it means to him. Just in time, Chan Wan Chan secures that top.
We are ready right Whew, now. I need a minute after that one, Sasha. <laughs> we have our final athletes out now. Well, we have Yanya Gamre from Slovenia and Florian Klingler coming out last on this second border problem. We absolutely do. Yanya flashed that first border problem. Yanya just misses the usable part of that blue first volume. So, here she goes. Oh. So, Florian taps that start hold. Using that left leg to generate a little bit of momentum. With each try, Yanya gets a little bit closer to sticking that zone hold. Yanya knows what to do. I think she has the body positioning in her mind. And she secures that zone. Absolutely brilliant stuff from Yanya Gandra. And I have to say, I'm not surprised that she got it. Such a phenomenal climber. It's just a matter of time with her. Stands up with two feet onto that volume in that front position. Up with the left hand onto the top. And there's the right, matches the finish. Yanya Gandra secures the top and, of course, secures her place for the third boulder. Probably expect him to get across there again, and it's just a case of getting up and hitting that last hold. And as we saw with Chong Jong Won, it's possible. The buzzer finish is possible. Flying <laughs> Klingler is looking at his fingertips. They're definitely raw from the last rounds of attempts. Flying Klingler uses the right side of that black volume to establish some sort of contact strength. Back into those undercuts on the cheetah volume. Stands up with the left foot, stands up a little with the right. Eyes it up and sticks it. There he goes. That's really important, top leading on from the first set of two border problems. It is indeed, and unless I'm mistaken, that top bumps Kai Harada out of the next boulder, and it will be Chon, Florian Klingler, and Yoshiyuki Ogata that go through. There's Sasha, Sasha to Julian. I looked at you instead of the telly. <laughs> There's Yanya Garnbrun, looking great. Don't mistake me with Yanya. <laughs> Yanya is you do that one, Sasha? way too great of a competitor for you to compare me to her. Oh, mate. I need more coffee. Yanya Gambra, fine style, frogs those volumes, establishes on that slopey top, gets up there, finishes strong. Yanya is just unstoppable. So after that full rotation, we're going to see full replays of all of the climbers again, Sasha. Uh, and when that comes on, we're going to go quiet. Who was your favorite top on that boulder, man or My woman? My favorite top on the men's side was definitely Zhang Wang Chan at that buzzer finish. And my favorite performance of the women was Yanya Gambre. Well, look at that. Those are the top three going through. Aimori, Futaba Ito, and Yanya Gambre, two Japanese and one Slovenian. All the other athletes are out of the competition. In the men's competition, the top three going through, Chon Jong Won, Florian Klingler, and Yoshiyuki Ogata, Kai Harada, Kokoro Fuji, and Gregor Vezenik missing out on the third boulder. And of course, only the top...
We now have a new final woman start list, starting with Aya Mori, followed by Futab Futaba Ito, and then third, Yanya Gambre. Indeed, Yanya, first place, comes out last. So, Stuttgart is ready! And there we can see women's boulder three. Those big yellow cheetah volumes. With the orange holds piggybacked on, very aesthetic, great looking boulder. You see the dual texture hold there, one of those spheres. <laughs> Three volumes from Cheetah there stacked on each other with a hold on top. Where the root setter decides to place that zone hold means there's typically a really challenging move getting to it, and a really challenging move getting to that top. Here is. 16 year old by Mori. And Mori is refreshing this boulder problem, sequencing it. She had two minutes to look at it prior to finals starting. Now she's making sure she knows where all of the hidden modes are. Lots of hidden little screw ons on these massive yellow volumes. Tags that left foot in. Bumps up with the left hand. Starfish against these yellow volumes. So good at the toe hooks. Really good caught tension. Oh, and just pops off there. That right toe cutting loose. It'll be interesting to see if she goes right hand and she decides to throw her right foot up on that zone and then turn around. First, we have the woman out. In with that left toe hook again. Oh, and just misses that left hand. Aymori really sucks her hips up into her into the wall to generate as much power from the holds as she can. When I, Mori, climbs, it's kind of like she's like a suction cap to the wall. <laughs> yeah, she has incredible, an incredible way of fighting gravity on these moves. Catches that pinch. In with the right toe hook. Sticks it this time, the right toe stays true. Look at that, matches in. Oh. Back three and a thumb. Oh my, God. back middle two. Oh, <laughs> I'm Mori, you utter savage. I'm Mori created a thumb pinch off that Middle two in the thumb, matched off the right hand. Flipping brilliant. Such strong finger power. It's 500 miles. Can I see your hands? Come on there, put your hands up. This time it's that left pinch in the right toe. Strong in the toe, manages to keep that core tension and goes in with that match again, but doesn't stick it. Less than a minute remaining. If her last attempt for anything to go by, she's gonna keep trying. You can see that Ayamori is doing a really creative sequence on what may be a Ricci sequence otherwise, perhaps. So one thing I know for sure is that if she sticks these moves, Sasha, the crowd will go absolutely wild. First left toe hook, then she switches it over to the right toe hook. Right on the edge of that hold there with the right hand. Matches in with the left into that weird pinch that she's created. I'm pretty sure that's not what the setter's intended. Oh, and she almost sticks that sphere, but needs a little bit more height. She's having another go. Oh, just not enough time for right Mori. Fantastic 
traveling the world as a sports athlete with all the family. And your family is the next down. farming community of Japan. Will be Futaba Ito. I am We go through all the women. Yeah. Before we go to the men. Next up, we have another Japanese climber, Futaba Ito. Here indeed, here she comes, 17 years old. Quite a bit taller than Aimori. Three, two, one, turn around, Futaba. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Stuttgart 2019. Getting ready for the So four minutes have begun. For a 19 year old from Japan. Futaba spends less time looking at the sequences and remembering where the orange holes are that she establishes quite quickly. Interesting that she goes over with that right hand, takes the left hand as a gas stun, and I think that's a high thing, Sasha. And having that left hand as a crimp allows her to really generate off that shoulder and slap to the top of the sphere. And now you can see her next hold is that very small crimp up and right. She has the zone. Underneath that volume on the small right hand crimp. And here she goes again. Nice toe hook with the left to reach over with the left hand. Big pop. Oh, and doesn't quite hit it. Whoa, what a move! You can see her hands were just under where that orange screw on was. She needed to generate a little bit more power as she swung her hips over to the right. Futaba is taking her time because she knows that she can get to the top of this boulder problem. She's got just under two minutes left. She was. So come get your new girls, girls. Come on, everybody. You got your rest. Right now, it's time to push it to the limit. Futaba, you talk. Futaba Ito getting between these two volumes charging a really challenging left hand Gaston in order to capture this sloper that's actually a dual tech sloper that means that shiny portion you see is not textured at all where her fingertips are sliding, you can see them sliding against the lack of friction. Releases that left toe hook, reaches over with the left hand, and now she needs to cut loose and catch the crimp. Does he in control this time? Reels that swing back in. Places the left foot on the crimp. One hand's on the top, two hands on the top, and there it is. Top down on Bolden number three and lays down the gauntlet for the rest of the ladies. For Taba Ito, absolutely phenomenal climbing. Futaba Ito will be in the super final. These are great coming in unfucking fast one. Unglaublich. Come to Maris, the applause for Futaba Ito. There was Futaba Ito up onto that pinch. That little bit of extra height just meant that she could take this hold as a full Gaston. And the next hold, 
as a Kren Pinotto, a full Gaston, crossed hands to then get over the shoulder. And you see her trying so hard, engaging the back. But watch this left hand here as she flips it over. You can see the shiny portion of that sloper. So gross. Brilliant setting, though, I have to say, Sasha. The root setters have done such a phenomenal job. In fact, since I mentioned them, I'm going to give them a, a proper shout out. They deserve it mid broadcast. Head setter Laurent Laporte, supported by Matteo Laporte, his son, supported by Adam Pustelnik, Tomar Alexi. Manuel Hassler, Sukuru Hori, Felix Buchmann, and then two female setters as well. So good to see them in. Kari Lehman and Melissa Lenave bringing some really amazing blocks all the way through to this final round. They've all done such an amazing job. We've still got a lot more climbs to go. Sasha, and is she here flash we it? are, Liam. We've got Yanya coming out. We do indeed, Sasha. How many goes? Yanya, well, she flashed this problem. I'm going to say yeah. Why not? I'm not going to jinx it. Okay. Four minutes, we know what Yanya is capable of. So much more than this boulder problem. Strong in the left foot. Really nice into that left pinch. So good onto that crimp in the cross through as well. Yanya climbs with such control. Drops that left knee in. Cheeky little knee bar there. Full respect for Yanya Garnbrett. Style points. I'd give her an extra style point if she took her hands off to shake. Onto that small crimp with the left hand. Cuts the foot loose and catches that right hand. Yanya Gambre doesn't even hesitate to stick that one arm hang. And another flash for Yanya. Yanya Gambre, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to say I told you so, Sasha. <laughs> absolutely hey, amazing. I was not denying no, you Yanya's weren't. ability. You absolutely were. Amazing work there. Yanya Gandra of Slovenia flashes ball to number three. Let's have another look at it, why not? I mean, it was so quick. Nice to get a good look. Such control, Sasha. She never looks stressed. She also goes about these boulder problems with such determination and control that she knows exactly what she's getting into and what to do. She is just so good at solving the sequences and then so strong to be able to do them. I'm just so psyched that she put an e-bar in. The timing of her release of that toe hook was really important in her being able to catch that long move up to that right screw in orange hold on that yellow volume and mantle up to the top. Big press. And a very nice top. So those are the results as they stand. Papa Ito and Yanya Garnbrek go through to the super final in the ladies. Aimori knocked out, takes third place in a bronze start here at Adidas Rockstars 2019. Coming up on the final for the men, we have Zhang Wan Chong, Florian Klingler. Coming out first. Yeah, three climbers in the men's. Yoshiyuki Ogata, Florian Klingler, and Chong Zhang Wan. Only two. Climbers will advance to the next round. 
Sean really needs a top here if he wants to secure a place in that super final. Yoshiki Ogata. If he tops, he's guaranteed a place. And let's get a look at this boulder. Well, Liam, it looks like this is our crack climb boulder that we scoped earlier before. It'll be curious to see how the boulders figure out the sequence. I'll tell you what, Sasha, I love crack climbing. Oh, here's Chong Wan Chan with an initial hand jam. Needs to tuck that thumb in. You see, he just like hopes his knuckles will stay. He really needs to tuck the thumb. Yeah, Kevin Jorgsen was here there earlier is. giving a presentation. I think he would find this hand jam a little bit easier. I want to see Kevin on it. Two jams now. No, no, got his hand on the outside and he can reach across and compress here. Nice. Okay, John's making his way through. Okay. Now he needs to do a second jam. There it is. Another jam. I think he could get a higher jam and a really secure jam a little bit higher. He probably could, but he's fighting low on the crack. Come on, John. Oh, that's a Wait. lot of energy holding his hands. He's not used to crack climbing. I reckon, what, that size one here? Maybe the audience can weigh in. No gear required. It's so good it can be so low. Here we go, come on, some guys. Everyone needs your hands. Maybe uh, Zhang Wan Chong could have done a tape club for his hands for this boulder problem. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be serious breath. This start hold vo uh, volume is actually something that we've seen a lot in this competition. I think it's called the egg. You can call it that if that's what you want it to be called, Sasha. Makes sense to me. Now, Zhang Wan Chong is trying this hand jam again. He's moving out of it in order to create a layback and get this zone hold. Such a heartbreaker for John because, you know, three consecutive, or not three consecutive, three attempts at that super final and three silvers. I do really love how we are getting this whole Rolodex of different boulder problems, testing each of these climbers' different skills. Yeah, I mean, I think that's truly what boulder competition should be about, is testing a whole portfolio. That's one of the pros of the combined format, in my opinion, is that it really does test everything. Um, there's a lot of cons as well, but that is one of the pros, is that we get to see what these climbers are truly made of. Less than a minute remaining now for Chun Jung Wan. Jung Wan Chun. He knows the jam to do this time. Oh, it's heartbreaking to watch. Come on, buddy. Compression. Strong there. He's cured that zone. Now let's see if he can move up in the crack. He knows how to use his foot in a crack. Super flexible hips. He needs to transition his body over to the left. Oh, come on, Sean. 15 seconds. Honestly, that just looks really painful. I don't know if many of you guys see the cracks and climbing gyms. But it's never going to work. <laughs> Chum <laughs> Jong Wan currently sits in second place. So it all comes down to Florian Klingler. If Flo can do this, then he's through. But Flo has to top. Chum has. If Flo gets the zone, they would have the same amount of zones, but Chum would have got the zone quicker. Yeah. So Flo really needs to top this if he wants to go through. You see the blood on the knuckles there. Just wasn't securing those jams. I mean, to go for that move with that left right hand down, you know, if he gave him a crimp, he would never do that. Yeah. It's so interesting yeah. watching climbers out of their comfort zone. 
just unable to make that one work. Also, a little bit sketchy to watch his hand in that position as he dynamically moved off of it. I don't want to see a broken hand. I think he's too bad at jamming for it to get stuck. <laughs> well, here comes Flo Klingler from Austria. Flo Klingler is a really powerful, strong climber. 21 years old. He's 21 years old. He's playing Klingler. Actually getting a jam first try. Tucks that left hand in. Good direction off that, not opting for the compression, but then goes back with that left hand. You can see he's really powering through his shoulders. Not very comfortable in that position. Oof. And the slight lack of reach on Chon is causing him some problems there. I can't decide whether this is entertaining or painful to watch. You know, it's like car crash TV. I think it looks pretty painful, to be honest. The thing is, these holds are so frictiony. <laughs> just <laughs> both just elbows up, pulling the crack apart. The sides of his back, he might actually pull it off the wall. But it's not what you do, Flo. You need a jam. There we go. Oh, and he sticks it with the left hand. Good work. He definitely wants to keep those elbows in as he's jamming. Good compression. Now, he's gone up with the right hand, down with the left. He needs to switch that hand. Oh, and he doesn't quite have that there. I hope we have some trad climbers watching this uh, There's definitely trad event climbers right watching. now. And I'll throw it out there again, what I think the uh, piece that I would place if this were a trad climb would be number one. You guys can weigh in on, on what sort of piece you think that it would require on your end. Clearly it's a boulder problem, so not so necessary. Flair and Kingler looking somewhat perplexed. Turns around and asks the crowd for some support, and as always, Stuttgart is more than happy to give it. Here he goes, let's see if he can get past this zone hold. Florian Klingler, so far I think achieved that zone hold sooner than John Wong Chong, but... Oh, wow, he just skips the rest of that boulder problem. Well, Sasha, they told us that that couldn't be done anymore. They told us that the new structure, it was impossible to cheat it. Florian Klingler, in fine style, proved them wrong. Florian Klingler gets through that gnarly gym crack and manages to top out the third border problem. And it's very deserving of a place in the Super Final. And he's earned it. Watch it again. Uh, it just looks so painful. Monkeys up the middle. Thought outside the box. Really smart climbing to just see that compression that he can create between his left foot and his right foot and just generate enough momentum to throw to the top. It was very Jan Hoya that. It reminded me of. When Yan Ho Yu was in the Super Final those years ago, managed to skip all of the moves 
Get up there on the top. Cheeky monkey. We'll have to wait and see what the Russo's think about that. In the meantime, last athlete out in the men's is Yoshiyuki Ogata. Yoshiyuki Ogata already has two tops. He does. Yoshiyuki's already in. Florian Klingler's in. Sadly, no super final for Chan Jong won this year. Three, two, one, turn around. So Yoshiyuki Ogata, who has tape gloves on. Yoshiyuki Ogata had enough time in the athlete lounge to prepare. I love that. I wonder where he learned that from. Maybe Yuji. Oh yeah, maybe. Yuji Hirayama, of course. Prolific Japanese climber, yeah. both indoors and outdoors, and there he is into the jams. Let's see if Yoshi figures out his ability to skip the rest of the boulder pump. It doesn't really seem like it yet. Sorry, he's brought both his hands over and he's looking at that next hold. Yoshiyuki Ogata committed now on that left side. Really nice. Brings that left. Oh, oh it just looks so Sliding down the crack there. When you're competing, you have a relative idea of how your other competitors have done, but it's really difficult to gauge an actual knowledge of what you need to complete on the boulder and be certain that you're moving on to the next round. So while we as an audience may know that he may not need to actually complete this boulder problem to be in the super final, he may not know that. Yoshiyuki this time, looks like he might have found the method, and he has! So smart! Two people have done it! Two people have unlocked the sneak of this boulder problem around the designated root setters. Three tops for Yoshiyuki Ogata. Concrete place in that super final. And the only climber to top all three boulders so far puts himself in a very strong position for that super final win. So, Sasha. Super finals, Yanya Gambra, Futaba Ito, Yoshiyuki Ogata, Florian Klingler. I know who I think is going to win. Yoshiyuki crimping the very top of that cheetah volume as well. Phil. The clear leaders going into the super final are Yoshiaki and Yanya. Yoshiyuki Ogata. They certainly are. So, hier haben wir das Ergebnis. Das sind die beiden, die im Superfinale kommen. An die so, there you go. Sixth place, Gregor Vesenik. Fifth place, Kokoro Fuji. Fourth place, Kai Harada. Third place, Chun Jong Won. Second place, Florian Klingler. And first place, Yoshiyuki Ogata. Klingler and Ogata through to. This is quite possibly the most exciting moment of the competition.
Definitely agree with you there, Sasha. The most exciting moment. Jan Jaganbrit on the right-hand side of your screen. Futaba Ito on the left. Japan versus Slovenia. Here we go. Twice world champion in Boulder and lead this year. Rather, Boulder and combined, I should say. Jumps across to the box. Look at that. Two different methods. Futaba Ito needs to get straight back on there. Jan Jaganbrit hops up with that right hand. Changes her mind. Goes left hand. Yanya seems to be taking a little bit of her time. However, of course, Pujaba is still behind her in progress at this boulder problem. That hold must be really bad for Yanya not to come into it. For Tabarito, however, two hands on it and a hand on the upper hold. Yanya Gabriel can't see what's going on. For Tabarito, hops up with the left hand, hops up with the right hand. And there she goes, ladies and gentlemen. Adidas Rockstars Champion 2019 from Japan. The one and only 17 year old Futaba Ito. Futaba Ito did the what was thought was impossible. Beat Yanya. Taking the crown from Yanya, the undefeated bouldering World Cup champion. Absolutely sensational finish. Big hugs from Yanya. Futaba surprised. Absolutely amazing. She's had a great qualifiers, a great semi-finals, and what a finish here. We're gonna go straight to the mats and hear from Futaba herself. Here's your Adidas Rockstar 2019 from Japan, 19 years old, Futaba Ito. Futaba. How is that feeling with a spectator crowd like this to be the Adidas Rockstar this year? It's so fun to the, this competition so, and I can't believe it. Enjoy it. Did you expect it to come into Stuttgart that you're going to be winning Adidas Rockstar this year because you're a lead specialist as well? Say yes. 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 Futaba Ito. Yanya, amazing, winning all six World Cup events this year, a triple on the World Championship, a hard season coming to an end. What do you think about the victory today about Futaba? I'm so happy for her. She is so strong, so she deserves it. How was the Super Bowl then? For the very first time, we had a dual texture bowl. So what do you think about the new Super Bowl then? Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. And the crowd? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your champions, Futaba Ito and Yanya Gambrit, ladies and gentlemen. For the very first time to be in the finals of Adidas Rockstars in history, from Austria, Florian Klingler, from Japan, Yoshiyuki Ogata. Yoshiyuki Ogata and Florian Klingler making their first debuts in the Adidas Rockstars finals. <laughs> The root setters have slightly tweaked the boulders. Three, two, and one. here they go. Turn around a super fireman. Nice little fist bump. And here they go. Yoshiyuki pulls on first. Oh, and just misses that first catch with the foot. Flow hits it but doesn't stick it. Again, we have a men's problem that requires really precision to get that foothold. Yoshiyuki pulling ahead. Yoshiyuki's in the lead now, but Florian Klingler's neck and neck. Who's going to hit that sloper first? Oh, Flo Klingler misses. Oh no, and Yoshiyuki's off. Remember, the athletes cannot see each other. Both athletes are back at the ground. Playing Klingler this time, pulling back on first. Manages to stick it. Flo Klingler goes again with that left hand by the looks of it. Yoshiyuki Ogata matched on, Flo misses. Oh, what's Yoshiyuki trying to grab? Yoshiyuki seems to be trying to grab a right little crib that he's actually brushing right now. Absolutely savage. Florian Klingler, similar to the previous boulder, is trying to just skip the next move. 
sticks it again. Yoshiyuki still on the mats. You can see that double screw on. Oh, it flows off Yoshiyuki's back on. Two hands. Goes direct and misses it. Oh, no. Yoshiyuki is trying to see what's up on top of this Super Bowl. It's uh, three sloping volumes melded together. Both men have tried both sequences. I'm curious to see which sequence they go with next. Both on the ground and both hyping the crowd. Yoshiyuki Ogata back up again, Flo Klingler trying both beaters, opts to get the crowd support as well. Yoshiyuki is looking at that little screw oh. on, but doesn't seem to hold oh. it. <laughs> Sasha, that's so close. Well, what's going to happen, Liam, if we don't see a man on top? I mean, it happened a couple of years ago. It was Jesse and Yanyo neck and neck, and it just came down to whoever did it first. If the Hopefully time runs out, there's no stress. It's just keep going. It's just keep going. I think so. That's what we did a couple years ago. It's just going to turn into a long red point session. We could be here all night. <laughs> well, it's not 11 yet. Flo <laughs> Klingler sticks the move. Yoshiyuki Ogata sticks the move. Right hand on for Flo and match. Both match now. Oh, and Flo doesn't hit it. Oh, and Yoshiyuki had his tips on. 40 seconds left. This is exciting. This is exciting. I'm nervous, I have to say. I would I'd really like to see someone hit the buzzer before these final 30 seconds. They're looking at each other in disbelief. Game on. Florian nods at Yoshiyuki Ogata. Going into this final Super Boulder, Yoshiyuki was actually in the lead. I wonder if that's relevant when it comes down to the tiebreaker. If neither Boulder. Then neck and neck again. Yoshiyuki gets his left hand on. Flo gets his left hand on. Yoshiyuki misses the top, and so does Flo. And and so we're going to listen to what Mike Hamill says. He's going to tell us what happens next. So they both go back into transition. Mike's going to have a chat with head referee. And they'll probably say, stick a jug on in the middle, and then we'll bring them back out. Something along those lines. At least they could make that little screw on to the right a little bit more positive. So, kleine yeah. Griff, der noch wahrscheinlich dazu Lassen kommt. Also, richtig schwer, habt ihr gesehen? Da geht es richtig zur Sache. Und das ist richtig TNT jetzt. Yoshiyuki Ogata and Florian Klingler return for one last attempt. Here they go in the super, super boulder. Bear in mind, they haven't seen what's changed. Let's see their body language as they realize. Another fist bump. Yoshiyuki realizes it's just the crimp, so does Flo. Yoshiyuki's on first. Hops across, catches it, so does Flo. One hand, two hands. Yoshiyuki Ogata in the lead right now. Pops, oh, he skips it anyway. He gets to the top. He just needed a rest, and there is the buzzer. Yoshi Yoshiyuki Ogata, you absolute weapon. He didn't want any changes to that boulder problem. He wanted to demonstrate he was capable. What I have to say about that, Sasha, is all weekend he has looked dominant. He performed spectacularly in qualifiers. He was sensational in semifinals. And after a stunning final, he absolutely crushed that super final boulder. A very well deserved victory for Japan's Yoshiyuki Ogata. Two Japanese champions in this year's Adidas Rockstars. Not bad. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your Adidas Rockstar. We're going to go to the stage now. We'll get some words Japan, from Yoshi and uh, see how he feels. 
Yoshi, how was this feeling to stand there on the 2019 uh, Wir gehen ein bisschen rüber, damit wir dich noch sehen, genau hier hin. So, how was this feeling to stand on the top today on the Adidas Rockstar Boulder? Yeah, it was just unbelievable because this is my first time final for Adidas Rockstars. And for me, this comp is the most enjoyable competition in the world. Yeah, I was just unbelievable and so happy. Thank you very much for the compliment. What do you think about the spectators here in Stuttgart? Yeah, they gave a lot of power for me, and I found a lot of like big audience and big handcrafts, and it all works well for me. Thank you so much. Ari Gotto, Cosima, Flo, with Florian Klingler, weggelaufen. So sieht's aus momentan. Also der ist nochmal zurück. Get ready for the award presentation, Yoshi. We're going on the other side. Flo, here is a der zweitplatzierte. So that was Yoshi Ikea got to the winner. Wie sagt man so schön in Österreich, oder? Oh, jeder. Was war das für eine Performance heute, oder? Na, es war total schwer. Die Haut hat schon geblutet. Und ja. Hättest du das gedacht, nach Stuttgart zu kommen und dann im Superfinale zu stehen? Ja, wünschen tut man sich eigentlich immer, aber wenn es dann wirklich aufgeht, na ist es ja, als wie wenn ein Traum in Erfüllung geht. Das war mit Sicherheit ein Traum, oder? Dual Texture Wall, zum allerersten Mal als Competition Wall, als Wettkampf Wall. Was anderes? Muss man sich umstellen? Ja, das ist auf alle Fälle. Aber hat Spaß gemacht? Ja. <lacht> also, hier ist er, der Runner-Up 2019, Florian Klinger. Third place, representing Korea, Jong Wan Chan. Such a favorite of this event. Really great effort from Chan. He really wanted to win this year, but it still evades him. Yon Yagamra, of course, second place in this ladies' competition. Something rare to see Yanya not winning, but such an incredible sportsmanship displayed by Yanya. In second place from Austria, it is Florian Klingler. Takes that silver star home. Going into the finals, he was first place. And he was surprised by that. And coming into finals, he was still very much the underdog, but took that silver medal and took that second place. And style, composure, and well deserved. Coming up in first place from Japan, it is Futaba Ito with such an incredible performance throughout this competition. And of course, taking the gold star home, crowned the Adidas Rockstars champion 2019 from Japan, the one and only Yoshiyuki Agata. Yoshiyuki Agata proved such a controlled performance. One thing I will say, Sasha, is all night I've been saying I'm 16 years old. She actually turned 16 on Monday. So she's technically still 15, which is all the more impressive. I'm aging her too soon. She's almost 16. Amazing pony in there, six incredible athletes. Japan as strong as ever. Two podiums, uh, rather two top of the place podiums for Japan, Yoshiyuki Ogata and Futaba Ito. Take their place in history. The rock stars of 2019. What an incredible show. These competitors, the six competitors, top in the world, really brought their A game to finals tonight. They absolutely did. I don't know about you, Sasha, but I had a great time. I thoroughly enjoyed that.
you know, I need to come to more bouldering competitions. <laughs> I see you there, buddy. <laughs> see you there. There's plenty of them these days. Absolutely inspiring. And also really informative about just watching the competitors and how each different competitor solved the sequences and put together these puzzle pieces. Absolutely. And there's those checks. 5,000 euros each. The Japanese team is going home with a full bank. <laughs>